The industrial era revolutionized the economy and daily life, creating new markets and jobs. Some individuals, recognizing this transformation, built empires. Henry Ford was one of them. He revolutionized the automobile, which was once a luxury for a few, into something accessible. Even the workers in his factories could own one. Today, I'm going to tell you the incredible inspiring journey of Ford. Henry Ford was born in 1863 in the USA, a time of progress and challenges. Born to immigrants, he grew up in agricultural lands, surrounded by fields and rural activities. This life in the countryside, although the norm, did not enchant him. Instead, he dreamt of machinery and innovations. From an early age, he had to get his hands dirty in the soil, participating in the daily farm work. But farm life, always demanding, wasn't his calling. Ford was an inventive young man. He constantly sought ways to alleviate the heavy work, creating tools and mechanisms. The inventions he developed in the fields not only eased his routine but also allowed him to seek new horizons in the city where his talent would shine even brighter. Young Ford lived in a fascinating era. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, bringing along previously unimaginable machines and technologies. Ford's curious mind wasn't content with just observing, he wanted to understand. He wanted to unravel the mysteries of every gear, from the delicate hands of clocks to the robust steam engines of trains. It didn't take long for this passion for understanding to turn into a profession. Ford entered the world of engineering, putting his talent to the test in various industries. And as he worked, he witnessed astonishing innovations. Automobiles, though already invented, were a luxury reserved for the very wealthy. Simultaneously, the world was being illuminated by electricity, and gasoline was emerging as the new, black gold. At 28, a golden opportunity presented itself. Ford had the chance to work with none other than Thomas Edison, the wizard of electricity. In that environment of constant innovation, Ford didn't limit himself to being just another engineer. He quickly stood out, becoming one of the company's prominent names. Even with professional success, he never abandoned his passion for cars. In his spare time, he dedicated himself to developing his own vehicle, attracting curious glances from colleagues, including Edison himself. Encouraged by such admirations, Ford decided to risk it all. He left his secure job and dove headfirst into the world of automobiles. His first steps were uncertain. Two companies failed. But Ford's determination was unshakable. And the turning point came in 1901 when he won a race against a renowned driver. This triumph put him in the spotlight, attracting investors. In 1903, the Ford Motor Company was born. The Model N, launched shortly after, promised and delivered, it was fast and more affordable. However, Ford had an even bigger vision. Inspired by meatpacking factories, he conceptualized a system that would revolutionize manufacturing, Fordism. This system, implemented step by step, yielded impressive results. The production of the Model T in 1909 made history. It was fast, reliable, and most astonishingly, affordable. In no time, Ford saw its sales skyrocket. Yet, success brought new challenges. The pressure of the assembly line was intense. Aiming for well-being and efficiency, Ford innovated again, improving wages and working conditions. This move attracted a flood of workers. The Ford Motor Company faced not only internal challenges. The 1929 crisis required adaptations, as did World War II. The war, in fact, led the company to diversify its production, engaging in the construction of combat machinery. Ford's vision didn't just revolve around cars. 
He identified opportunities in diverse sectors, including aviation and even waste reuse, creating a coal business. Henry Ford wasn't the inventor of the car or the assembly line. However, he adapted and perfected them so brilliantly that he changed the world. Thanks to him, mobility, production, and even consumer culture were transformed. His legacy? A billion-dollar brand and a world that would never be the same again. Henry Ford is a frequently mentioned figure in classrooms and academic studies. He is the icon who revolutionized the world of production and management. Undoubtedly, his journey serves as inspiration for many. When we hear the name Ford, we remember his famous quote, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. This reflection is a powerful reminder of resilience and persistence in the face of challenges. Ford's journey was far from simple. He was a blend of creativity and strategy. His calculated profile and ability to think ahead allowed him to work intelligently. He knew he needed financial organization to realize his vision. He took care to decide his steps meticulously, joining Thomas Edison's company in 1891, becoming chief engineer in 1893, and pooling enough resources to initiate his own automobile project. This project culminated in the launch of his car in 1896. Just two years later, in 1898, he was already presenting an improved version of that car. Before the famous Ford Motor Company, there was the Detroit Automobile Company in 1899. This was one of the obstacles on his journey. The company didn't thrive. The cars were expensive and didn't meet the expected quality. But Ford didn't give up. In 1903, with renewed determination and a $28,000 investment, he established the Ford Motor Company. The revolutionary Model T, however, only hit the public scene in 1909. His commitment to continuous learning is highlighted in another of his quotes, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. This teaches us the value of knowledge and constant evolution. At the peak of his career in 1918, Ford's Model T was not just popular, it dominated the market. Surprisingly, half of the total US car fleet consisted of this model. Ford believed in simplicity and efficiency. So much so that his cars were available in only one color, black. Standardization was a conscious strategy. Producing only one type of car at the time reduced costs. This made the car more accessible to the public. However, over time, the market began to demand diversity. Other companies emerged, bringing novelties. They offered different models, colors, and functionalities. The traditional Model T, although still an economical option, no longer had the same appeal. Experts in production engineering and management agree that companies that solely adopt Ford's mass production principles may not succeed today. Times have changed. Now, the market dictates the rules, demanding flexibility and customization. An example of this is pull production. In places like pizzerias, the product is only made after the customer's order. Companies like Dell took this to another level, allowing customers to customize their computers. The world has changed, and mass producing a single product is no longer the norm. Ford's innovation revolutionized transportation and shaped the industry. He brought efficiency and made previously inaccessible products available to many. The effects of Ford's vision were felt beyond the industry. He influenced urban design and lifestyle. Workers could live farther away and still have access to work, thanks to efficient transportation. Currently, we are experiencing a similar revolution with technology. Just as cars transformed the 20th century, the internet is redefining the 21st century. Now, 
We are no longer limited by geography. We can work from anywhere in the world. Henry Ford, with his vision and determination, left a lasting mark in history. And you, what do you think about his inspiring story?